Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and welcome to our 2010 Premium Touring Helmet Guide. Right out of the gates, the first thing I'm going to define for you is what is a touring helmet. A lot of people that ride on the street and they don't know where we would draw the line. We consider a touring helmet a helmet that's set up to be long distance riding, high mile riding, multiple climates, multiple temperatures, multiple seasons, typically a more upright riding position. It's a helmet that's going to be lighter, more comfortable, and more ergonomic than a typical sport helmet that you're going to wear for maybe tops a few hours at a time in a race on the track where most people are just kind of zipping around town. So basically what I have in front of you is a few different types of helmet. I have some hybrid helmets, I have some multi, or I have the Showy Multitech, which is a modular helmet. But really, the mainstay of the touring lineup, it's going to be a helmet with a vent configuration that's set up for upright riding. And the top of the food chain is a brand new helmet for this year called the Arai RXQ. All the technology that goes into an Arai Corsair 5 with a ventilation configuration and a ergonomic configuration to be aerodynamic, quiet, and comfortable sitting top end or sitting sitting upright. So think BMW ST, BMW GS, uh, a Concourse, a, a, uh, a, a Goldwing. This is the helmet, this is the pinnacle of what we offer. Snell 2010, very, very aerodynamic. You have a lot of features here, a lot of uh, ventilation pieces. This is what Arai has been famous for. It's a medium oval head shape. A lot of people think that this was the replacement for the Arai Quantum. Now they basically blew the blew the Quantum away, came out with the RXQ, adjusted the shell shape. It's a medium oval shell shape. Starts typically right around the $500 mark. There are graphic versions available. It, it is 10% off on any given day at RevZilla.com, but we do run sales on graphics that are going out of style. You know, any of these helmets comes in a myriad of graphics and styles, and there are sales that intermittently happen. What I'm going to go through today is just kind of the base, you know, ballpark pricing of where you're going to expect them to start. So the RXQ, we have a full 10 minute video on the RXQ. We actually have videos on all of these helmets. So at a deeper dive level, make sure you check those out. RXQ around $500. So if you say to me, Anthony, I love the features of the RXQ, but I have a more long oval head shape. You're gonna go with the Arai profile. It's basically 90% of the features of the RXQ. It's not gonna be Snell 2010, it's Snell 2005. Similar price range, but the long oval head shape is gonna be really pronounced. So think head shape more akin to a Shark RSR2. Very thin, narrow on the sides, very long front to back. The profile is the direction you're gonna go. So these are kind of what I'm considering the pinnacle. Moving down from there, you're gonna have, you know, I'm gonna actually go flip flop all the way to the entry level position. You have to think about these helmets as an investment. They're a, a multi-year, multi-season helmet. They're built to last a long time. There's a lot that goes into them. So I'm gonna start at the top of the food chain and I'm gonna go right to the middle of the mountain. I'm gonna work myself way back, or work my way back up. This is the Scorpion XO 1000. Intermediate oval head shape, has all of the Scorpion features, it's going to start right around the $300 mark, so that's a minimal investment in a long distance touring helmet. Some of the features, you have the Top Gun face shield, you have a vent configuration and aerodynamic scheme, again for upright riding, quick quick removable liner, speed shift system along the shield, you have the Everclear fog free shield, you have a pump system on the bottom of this guy, so basically you put it on, it's ergonomic, then you pump it so that it's a custom fit, both cheek pad and around the neck roll, it's going to fit, and then you would, uh, you would release right here, I don't know if you could hear that, but just like the Reebok pump shoes from back in the day, same thing on the helmet. Helmet, release, pull this guy off. A lot of features crammed into this guy. We have a handful on sale right now. This one's called the Apollo. Um, you can typically pick these up in the $250 range, but if you're buying the, the brand new, new for this year model, it's going to be right around $300. So that's going to be the Scorpion XO1000. We've gone through the Arai. The next helmet as I go up in, in, in the, the standard helmet, full face side of things, it's a little bit of a stretch. It's really a mix between um, premium touring and more spirited, aggressive street riding. This is actually probably one of the most popular helmets from a feature price and, and, and benefit standpoint on RevZilla.com. New for 2010, this is the Shelly RF1100 helmet, the predecessor or the, the successor to the RF1000. Updated ventilation configuration, Snell 2010, wider eye port. They have the, uh, the features on this guy. It's a spring-loaded visor, visor system. It's using the new CX1 or CW1 field shield configuration. Medium oval fit. Like I said, Snell 2010. It's going to be lightweight, lots of graphics, lots of colors. You can rock this guy on a Ducati. You can rock this guy on a Gixxer 750, or you can rock this guy on a Goldwing. It's a helmet that's going to be right in the middle from profile standpoint, so upright or more in the tuck, you're going to be fine. Has this nice built-in ridge for aerodynamics. Um, notice notice the the winglets on the side and the neck roll. Built to be worn, long distance riding. Price point of this guy is going to start right in that 350 range. For graphics, it's going to go up from there. But again, I think there's 11 different colors of this show. It comes in matte colors, comes in solids, comes in graphics. The RF 1100. We have a full video breakdown on this guy right from go. Moving past that, I want to talk about a couple modular helmets. So the lightest modular that's on the market, which has been out actually probably since 2007, it's going to be the Showy Multitech. 
it's DOT rated. You know, a lot of times it's harder for the uh, the modular helmet guys to uh, there we go to to get that Snell or ECE rating because of the hinge system. But basically, this guy this is the flat black version. It's going to be the lightest. It's a very smooth mechanism both open and shut, decent ventilation. We see a lot of guys that are adventure touring or sport touring guys or long distance uh, touring guys that are wearing this helmet just from the flexibility aspect of it. Has its own shield that you'd work with this guy. If you have questions about it, we do have a full, full video on this guy, but I, I included two uh, modular helmets today. The Shoei Multitech is one, and then this guy is actually a next generation modular helmet. This is the Shark. Eviline Series 2. This is actually the wear color scheme. These guys for the solid start right around that $400 price point. These guys are in the same range, you know, the four, four and a quarter mark. But basically the claim to fame of the Shark, it's ECE rated. It's got the, the sun visor that's built in. Very comfortable, a more round shape. These guys actually tend to fit a little bit big compared to what we have on the table. So if you're in between sizes, we actually tell people to go a size down. Um, but the nice part about this is you see that it, it works as an open face helmet. You have a shield that's not connected to the chin bar. So what you can do is you can ride this guy as an open face and then pop that guy a notch. Whoop, I'm gonna pop this guy up, bring the chin bar down, lock it in. There you go. So you have this elliptical hinge. So now basically you can wear this helmet as a full face with a full lockout system, block the elements, and then you can decide that if you want to wear it as an open face, depending on where you are, what type of riding you're doing, you can lock it back. And the nice part is this chin, chin bar is very aerodynamic. So what you have is even when it's open, you're not going to get a lot of buffeting. You're not basically creating a wind scoop. A lot of traditional modular helmets where the face just comes up, you're you know at speed, anything more than 15 miles an hour, you're going to get a lot of wind that's pushing you back. Not so with this helmet. I actually rode 900 miles in one of these in uh, Texas. Phenomenal helmet, was really impressed with the functionality and the flexibility of it. I actually own probably at 60% of the helmets on this table and ride them all myself, compare and contrast them. And I, I'm a big fan. I didn't pick anything out in this lineup. There are other helmets that kind of cross over into this bucket, but really I picked the cream of the crop and I picked a lot of helmets that have, I've spent time riding in all of them and I own about 60% of them. Moving on from the Shark Eviline Series 2, like I said, right around the $400 mark, we have two hybrid helmets. You have the Orai XD3 and you have the Shoei Hornet DS. The Hornet DS is around that $500 range or $450, $450 range. The Orai XD3 is a big step up in fit and finish. I, I give it a 10 out of 10, I give the Shoei a 9 out of 10. It's just creature comforts, the aerodynamics. The Orai comes in, it's nice. The RXQ as well as this XD3, this is the high vis color scheme. So if you're a commuter, a lot of guys like the extra visibility. It comes in this, it's this nice blacked out version with, with the, the accents here. But you have winglets, you have top, you have top venting, back exhaust ports. It's, it's a, again, a medium oval head shape. I, I wore one of these touring in Colorado. I actually wear, I actually wear my Arai XD3 in Motard Black that I have um, all the time when I'm riding our 12GS. You know, I ride actually more than you think around Philadelphia. It's just such a nimble bike, so much fun to ride. But again, so what you're getting with a helmet like this, either the Shoei or the XD3, is versatility. It's kind of the visor system, the shape, the aerodynamics of a dirt helmet meant for a lot of different conditions. You can actually wear goggles underneath this with the visor down. A lot of guys like to double it up. So they'll ride with their, vi with their goggles on and then if they hit dust or mud or something that they really need to shield, they'll put the visor down. Let the, the visor take the dust or the mud, the abuse, and then put it up and you have your clean goggles underneath. There's actually a slit on both the sides where you can get goggles underneath both of these guys. So pricing on these guys, for some of the graphics, they're going to be in that $600 range. For some of the solids, you're looking at about $500. The Shoei's a little less expensive. It's also a medium oval head shape. I'm going to pick it up. Slightly different wing configuration. I like the Shoei a lot. It, it has a, a more aggressive dirt look to it, but it's uh, I like it one point less than I like my XD3. I've worn both. I just think Arai spent a little more time on the aerodynamics. 100, 110 miles an hour on a GS, standing up, right? You're not supposed to do that, but I've done it. This helmet's not going to buff it. It doesn't get unstable. The visor's extremely stable. It has cutouts. It has winglets. It's just really beautifully designed. The XD3 is the successor to the regular XD. Arai started going this direction many, many years ago. This is Shoei's first foray into this. So basically, at a breakdown level, you're going to have some narrow helmets, like the Profile. You have some that are slightly more round, like the, uh, like the modulars over here. But really, most of the things on this table are going to be very ergonomic. They're going to be medium oval head shapes. Like I said, you're going to enter into this market around $300. You're going to top out around the $600 mark with something like this, or even uh, a graphic version of the RXQ. 
I'm wearing an RXQ right now, I love it. I'm wearing an RF1100 right now, I absolutely love it. Depending on the type of ride, if I'm on my Ducati and I'm ripping around, I like my RF1100. If I have the choice and I'm gonna ride our GS for long distance, I'm not wearing my XD3, I'm gonna go with the RXQ. The beauty of the RXQ, it's my favorite helmet on the table right now for, for versatility across all types of ridings, the balance of this helmet. It's very ergonomic. The way that it's balanced and the way that the ergonomics of the guts fit your head, it feels extremely light because all of the helmet's weight is distributed evenly across the crown, across the face, uh, across the, uh, the cheek pads, across the neck roll. It's just really well done. I give a lot of credit to Arai for not designing their helmets for a price point, for designing their helmets to be the best helmets on the market and then figuring out how they can get the cost down from there. If you have any questions, I just threw a lot at you. Call us. Email us, cs at revzilla.com, 877-792-9455. We are the Gear Guys Gear Guide. We're geeks, we're experts. We know this stuff inside and out because there's nobody on staff here that doesn't ride. No soccer moms are taking your order over the phone. If you call, you're gonna get a rider. And I don't think there's anybody in the office that doesn't dual sport. We're all sport riders, we all do track days, and we all ride on road and off road. So give us a ring. Anything on this table, they're all over $39. I'll we'll ship for free. We do free first size exchange on any of these guys. And like I said, like I've said many times, our loyalty program, you can earn up to 5% back in Teamzilla Cash applied to your next order. It's uh, automatically applied. So this is our 2010 premium tour touring helmet gear guide at revzilla.com. You can actually go to Go to revzilla.com slash touring dash helmet. You can see all of these helmets in a single category. And like I also said, on Revzilla TV and on the site, there's a video for almost all of these helmets. That's a 10 minute video that walks you through, takes it apart, breaks it down, talks in more technical depth about the features and functionality. I'm Anthony, I hope you absorbed a lot of information from this video. We know that a lot of times our customers Big value to what we do is connecting the dots, helping you decide what's the best helmet for the application of riding and the type of riding you do. We'll see you next time on RevZilla TV. Thanks for watching.